I had a little experience with C++ programming back in high school, but it's been a long time since I coded anything. Although my dream was to become a programmer, I just didn't know where to start and never had the courage. A close friend of mine who is a seasoned software developer always encouraged me to start coding. I met Courser a few years ago and took a short course named Introduction to HTML by Michigan University and earned a certificate. That's it, unfortunately. I stopped there. And about a year ago, another friend from university introduced me to the Udemy online learning platform. The first course I started taking was the Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt. Even though I started learning to code about a year ago, I had to interrupt it several times for various reasons. I started applying for web developer jobs once I got a little more comfortable with the JavaScript backend part. After a while, a medium-sized software company called me for an interview. I had already completed about 90% of the course and was building the Yelcamp project. I got excited and I thought I wasn't ready yet. Nevertheless, I had to face it. I couldn't believe I got hired in my first ever developer job interview other great web development courses alongside Colts One, for example courses by Ian Schoonover, Andre Nigoy and Angela Yu. Also tutorial videos by Traverse Media and Web Dev Simplified channels on YouTube have been really helpful. The hiring process was interesting. Developers in the company use C Sharp, ASP.NET, MySQL and PHP. I told them that I actively use JavaScript, Node.js and MongoDB. They asked me to build a demo landing page with an admin dashboard in two weeks. While building it, I think I may have lost two kilograms just because of the stress. It wasn't easy at first to implement some additional features that you don't know how to do it yet. Finally, I finished the demo version of the project, deployed it to Heroku and sent an email to the company. The next day I got an email telling me I got the job. It was a little bit challenging because of the stack company was using. I had to start learning PHP, MySQL, C Sharp and ASP.NET and I'm grateful that my company understands I need some time for that. It will be a good experience for me. My position in the company is junior full stack web developer. I'm currently building a website for a local municipality and upgrading some existing projects of the company. Practice, practice and practice. Never stop learning. Don't be afraid of making mistakes because that's how we learn, not by just watching course videos and doing whatever the tutor does. Learn how to solve your problems by yourself, either by searching online, reading documentations, watching videos and so on. Don't just jump from a programming language to another one without learning it well. Programming isn't about the language. Learn how to think like a programmer. Focus on one thing and be good at it. You can learn any other language, its syntax later as you need it.